A popular drug used for treating the flu could be hard to find. Police need your help finding him. New surveillance video shows a man they say stole a car with a baby inside. I just wish that I could see him here and share it with him. How a family's Christmas display is keeping a loved one's memory alive. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 11. And good evening. Having the flu is bad enough, but what if you couldn't get the medicine the doctor prescribed to make you feel better? Well, that's a problem many people around Lexington are running into right now. Some pharmacies around the city are running out of the Tamiflu prescription medicine. And one pharmacy that did have it today was swamped. Garrett Weimer has our top story tonight at 11. It's a popular medicine this time of year. We've been bombarded with patients having the flu. And as the flu continues to spread, it can get harder and harder to find. When flu symptoms like this hit very quickly, being short on Tamiflu is not completely unheard of or unusual. Uh, but since it did hit so quickly, uh, it's made it even worse uh, in shortages than what we've typically seen in the past. The owner here at the pharmacy shop says he's even gotten calls from chain pharmacies in the area asking him if he has any Tamiflu in stock and even sending patients over here to his pharmacy on Southland Drive. Sullivan says they have plenty of the popular pill. He says they look at different factors when figuring out how much Tamiflu supply to buy. We look at those and try to make the best buying decisions we can. And we can respond in a, a, a day, whereas the chain sometimes can't respond that quickly. It may take them uh, four or five days to make the same response that we can in a day. So we actually uh, loaded in or bought plenty of stock. With the stock at his pharmacy, they've been busy so far and still have several months left in flu season. In Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. We also called several pharmacies around Lexington tonight. Some told us they have Tamiflu in stock and others do not. So if you have a Tamiflu prescription you need to get filled, it's not a bad idea to call ahead and ask if they have it. It is the final weekend before Christmas and you may notice some festive snowflakes in the air. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell has an early look at the forecast. We're calling them festive, huh? Festive, that's the best way to describe them because it's not going to be a big deal out there, Sam, especially tomorrow. Maybe some very light accumulations, what I mean by that, maybe a coating or so, especially in southern parts of Kentucky. Defender is actually picking up on a few flakes there right now, well off to our south. You can check them out here through parts of Wayne County and out into McCreary County. Now, this is a very dry air mass as well, so a lot of these probably never reach the ground. Maybe a few can make it. But as we go through the night tonight, more moisture increases in our area. We'll see the next batch, which is out to our west, continue working its way toward us, which will enhance our chances and the chances in southern Kentucky to see some of that snow. So, again, it's a festive flake, not a big deal at all. Now, as we look at your Saturday, we'll plan it all out here for you so nicely. We're looking at 27 degrees by right around 7 o'clock in the morning. Temperatures stay in the mid 30s through the day, and you'll have those. Those flakes ran probably at least through two o'clock, and by flakes I mean flurries by this point. But our attention will shift in the full forecast to that white Christmas potential. It's there, and I'll have those chances coming up for you here in just a few minutes. Thank you, Jim. A frightening ride to school for some Knox County students when their bus flipped onto its side. The crash happened just after 7 this morning on Big Beach Branch Road. Investigators say somehow the ground underneath the bus gave way and it overturned. They say nine children were on the bus at the time. One of them says she and the driver helped everyone get out. My sister, she was on uh, the side that was up in the air. When she fell, she came back down on the window and busted the window. Investigators say that no one on the bus was seriously injured, but some children did go to the hospital just as a precaution. Police have released some new surveillance video of the man they say stole a car with a baby inside. Florence police say the video comes from the Marathon Station in Fort Mitchell, where the car and the baby were found. They're still trying to find that man right there. Yesterday, they say he stole the car from a gas station six miles away in Florence. That triggered an amber alert. Police say the baby, 20-day-old Henry Flores, was not injured. 
Tonight, the clerk of a Carroll County city is accused of stealing thousands and thousands of dollars from it. Police arrested Ghent City Clerk Robin Powell today. They say between July 2012 and this month, she wrote city checks to herself. Police say the checks were written for amounts between $105,000 and $180,000. Powell has been charged with theft by unlawful taking. Tonight, Lexington police need your help finding a stolen car. They say two men came up to a woman on Queen Avenue, threatened her, and then stole her car. Police say they later spotted the car over on Shropshire Avenue, but the driver wouldn't stop. They say two juveniles did jump out of the car and were caught, but police say the men who stole the car took off. Police say the car is a 2006 blue Toyota. And in Lawrenceburg, police have an alert tonight about a phone scam. They say someone is calling people in Lawrenceburg claiming to be a police officer. The caller tells them they've missed jury duty and there's a warrant out for their arrest. Police say the caller then tells potential victims to avoid going to jail. They'll have to send in a money pack card with a certain amount of money on it. Police say this is just a scam and you should just hang up on the caller. This time of year, it is the brightest house in the neighborhood. A Lexington family's home is all decked out for the season, complete with thousands of Christmas lights. Now, while it's a fun way to celebrate the holidays, it also has a much more important, deeper meaning for the family on Wyndham Hills Drive. Jerrica Insco has the story new at 11. Tis the season for the lights, the music, all of it. A lot of people decorate their homes like this this time of year, but for the Lee family here in Lexington, they do it for a very special reason. Every Christmas, it gets bigger. Each year, I just add more and keep growing around the house. John Lee says his family is totally on board with all of these lights. Start with one tree and kind of wrap a red light with a green light. The neighborhood loves it, but Lee's Christmas spirit isn't the only thing behind it. One, for the kids. His reason is personal. And two, I like to try to do something in memory of my brother that passed um, a few years back. 32-year-old Larry Lee, but everyone knew him as Larry Joe. He really loved to go out and see the Christmas lights. This man went missing from a group home three years ago and never came back. He always wanted to be home. Um, you know, in the last few years of his life that he, he couldn't be due to his mental illness. It was a dark time for this family, so they tried to light up during the holidays. I just wish that I could see him here and share it with him. After all, it was Larry Joe's favorite time of year. Hopefully he's in a better place and he can see the lights shining down that he's not been forgotten. And next Christmas, you can expect to see the Lee's home just like this, but probably with a few more lights. In Lexington, Jerrica Insko, WKYT. Well, he's done a great job. John Lee tells us that he has 4,000 lights this year that he put up all by himself. He plans to double that number next year.